mixed results still. Well, mixed results, but yeah. Positive results. Do you have either of their mailing addresses? Uh, yeah. I'd shoot that off. Okay, send them a note. Send them a note. Okay. Looking forward to going out for the first time. This is going to be great. Looking forward to our success. See you on blah, blah, blah. Okay. Real simple. It doesn't have to be much. But I tell you, it means that you care. It's a, it's a caring type of thing. And the other thing he mentioned, which, boy, I can't say enough about, is our app. It's my favorite thing in 30 years because um, could have had a huge, huge bonfire for all the business cards that were thrown away over the years for me, right? So when you give them the app, they've got you, right? As long as they download it. But people love to download it here. You know, locals and visitors alike. It's especially easy for visitors. So when you're at open houses, you know, hey, can I have your card? Can I have this flyer? You know what, I'm going green. I'm doing everything electronically, so I would love to send that to you. I, you know, the easiest thing is for me to just text it over. Great. I think I had one person say no thanks. So when you do text, you know, click on share, click on text, put their number in. Before you send it off, either in the next text or above the link to download, hi, Dan and Joan. Otherwise, you're going to give them away and go back and not know who these people are. So this is on the fly type of stuff, right? Be sure you put their names. And I just tell them, hey, I'm sending you a second text. Hi, Dan and Joan. That's just so that I don't screw up and look at this and go, oh, who is that? Oh. So once they've had it, as he said, he's, they've got the app. He's been looking, this uh, client has been looking at properties. And when he saw something he liked, he was able to go into the app and send that to him. So they can contact you, you know, instantly. You're going to find many people that are not ready to pull the trigger. Like you said, oh, six months out, when you're new and you want to deal right now, that's, but I'll tell you, those, that's precious, precious, precious. This is all about follow-up and bringing in people into your fold and, and the relationship. So um, when I am talking to people that are visiting, I just say, hey, you know, even if you don't want to buy or sell right now. Isn't it fun when you go by and go, oh, I wonder how much that costs here in Maui compared to where I wonder. All you have to do is pull over, make sure your Bluetooth's on, push this button, and boom, you're going to get all the information. So maybe give them a little show of what they do, push on the photos so they can go through. And I said, here's where you contact me. And I always tell everyone, and this is up to you, but I truly love this. I mean, this is how I like to live. I am a great resource for all things Maui. Glad we've met, even if you never buy anything from me or sell anything through me. You know, when you're coming over next time or if while you're here in this state, there are any resources that would make it helpful to have a local connection, I'm your gal. And I, I, I just, you have to mean it, right? Yeah. But I sincerely do mean that. I love that. And um, it's all about relationship building. So, you know, if you haven't already, on your goal sheet, your daily goal sheet, set a goal of how many of your apps you want to give away. Okay. Would that count as one of our calls if we give, a, if like you meet somebody? Okay. It, it will if you, when you follow up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a good thing. It's a great thing. Good. Any other ahas? Getting our head in the game. Finding the right home quickly is a win-win. And I think we got some stats that we'll look at that kind of give us an idea of what this looks like. So on page 11, there are NAR statistics, National Association of Realtors. First one is the typical home buyer searched for 10 weeks and viewed 10 homes. I have an average of showing eight properties before we find the right one. So eight, 10, 12, right? Um, you're gonna learn some uh, good skills and ideas that are gonna help you to set things up properly and that keeps it down to a low bar. We're not tour guides, right? You know, I actually heard you, I hope you don't mind, I like looking at you because you're easy and confident. I, I heard you say on, on the phone, um, you've got a mortgage lender, right? Mm -hmm. 
my first conversation with them, do you have a mortgage lender? Try to help them set it up right for you and for them. You would never want to go show them a property that they fall in love with and can't afford to buy or qualify for. And likewise, we do not have time. Look at all we have to do. It's not an easy business. We can't just tour people around. So it's one of the first things you want to do, right? Yep. And what you're going to find is that people typically um, want to, unless they're real savvy about buying and selling, they want to do business with the bank they have their checking account with or something that's comfortable with them. So it's important that you give them a little bit of information and make sure that they're going to um, you know, choose the right mortgage person, especially when it comes to condo tells, the vacation rental condos, because it's a little different animal with the banks, and mainland banks don't get it. So they need a local lender, in my opinion. Okay, so um, when you're at Caravan and when you're at these different events where we have sponsors, say hi, meet and greet. Give them your information. They'll come after you because they want your business. And then you're going to have, um, you know, someone that you can, you know, we just naturally say, oh, I really like working with this person or that person. And so that you're going to have somebody to help you uh, jockey these people into a good position. Now, having said all of that, Killer Mortgage. That's a whole other seminar. But we have Killer Mortgage now, and we offer really great incentives uh, and cash discounts. So. It's another way for you to serve people. Right. Okay. So 92% of buyers use the internet in their home search process. As you can imagine, since I've been in the business, things have changed, crazy changed, right? And so it took me a couple years to realize that, you know, this is fine. At first we were all nervous that we were going to lose the, um, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. At first we were, you know, nervous that it was going to take all our business and that we wouldn't be needing where we are, but that's baloney. They need us desperately. So don't even worry about that. Well, after a couple of years, I went, oh my gosh, this is great. They are helping me to help them. So I always thank them. I am so glad that you're so excited that you're on the internet every day. <coughs> and um, thank you, Patrick, for helping me to help you because together we're going to find just the right place. So bring them in, you know. You kind of have to train people as you go along. <coughs> Excuse me. The other thing is, if they are searching with your app, you got to notice when they um, found the house, or yeah, it, it, it'll tell you. I get a notice, and I got one. I have a, a doctor on uh, Oahu, she's a sweetheart. Or she's on Maui now. But she's moving from Oahu. She has to sell her Oahu home to buy here. And I got a note saying, oh, Bettina Ackerman is you know, cruising on your website. So that's really good because that gives you an idea of how to prioritize who you give your energy to, right? So they have to go in and register. So some people just simply put the app on their phone, you know, and use it, but haven't gone in and done some things that they have, and that's fine. That's up to us to follow up. Um, <coughs> we have technology now in command with these smart plans that you're gonna be using for open houses, for having just met someone, and then you'll plug in the plan, and every couple days a tab will <coughs> pop up, time for you to call so-and-so, time for you to email so-and-so, you know, blah, 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 bless you. Thank you. So, um, you just get as much contact information as you can, do everything you can to get them register on your site, and um, it's, it's gonna be great. Because next year when they come back here, you're still gonna be in there. It's a beautiful thing. Good for us for having that. 50% of buyers use a mobile website or application in their home search. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people say, oh, I use Trulia, I use Zillow, da da da, I can oh, I get it, man. I, I, I used to use that too, but you know what? When they sat down and tested, what do you call those things when they do test the people? Um, focus group. Focus group, thank you. Uh, they've had focus groups. We've won against Zillow every single time. So remember that to tell people. So I get it. But in focus groups, we win over Zillow every time. And one of the things about our app that's so wonderful is that it's real time. It's attached to our multiple, real time. Zillow updates pretty often, but it's a true statement. Can't say 
Yeah, yeah. it's great. Uh, da, 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 da. 98% of buyers who use an agent viewed real estate agents as a useful information source. Now, early in the business, I drove home after appointments in tears, having been perceived as a shark when I'm a nice person. It really used to hurt my feelings. I was young and dumb, whatever. Um, <laughs> but because we were down there, like with attorneys and the public opinion polls at the bottom, things have kind of improved in that respect. But people are always a little bit nervous about salespeople, which is why. Focusing on relationship is so darn important. Um, <clears throat> so 98% of buyers view agents as helpful. I don't remember the stat, so I don't just want to throw it out. But there's something like 70%, maybe more, of buyers really, really love their agent. They don't remember their name. Don't let that happen. Don't go chasing. You work so much harder chasing for new business. Your gold mine people that you know and that know you. That's your gold mine. You know, create a relationship. Um, serve them after the deal closes. That's when they really know you really care, right? So follow-up is so, so important. And then stay in touch with them. And we're going to give you all those systems to be able to do that. You just need to time block and follow your schedule. Because once you start doing this and putting things in, then your tasks are going to come up. You're, you're, your, um, after a while, your schedule is going to tell you what to do every day. It's kind of cool, right? All subject to change because this is a. <laughs> okay. More than 50% of buyers reported finding the right home was the most difficult step in the home buying process. That's mostly in their minds because, honestly, escrows, in my opinion, the bear. <laughs> but that's okay. If they don't know that, that's because you've done such a great job already. 24% of recent home buyers reported the primary reason for the recent home purchase was a desire to own a home. And I think we all know that it's a source of pride. It feels good to be a homeowner. Even more importantly, the single um, factor that determines the health of our nation is the percentage of home ownership, right? And we've not recovered since the recession. We're not up to where we were pre-recession. So we have ways to go, and, and there's a reason for it. We're struggling. I don't care how good they say the economy is. When our governor gets up there all proud about our low unemployment, I want to smack him. Because I don't think we can measure in those ways anymore. Because if we have low unemployment because everybody has two very low paying jobs and no life, it's not a success to me, not at all. I won't go too far there. <laughs> okay. 9% uh, purchase a new home due to a job related relocation or move. So that's going to apply to us a lot, isn't it? Did you guys that work, I heard you say you grew up in Lahaina. I've been here, oh my gosh, I moved here right out of high school in 73. I've been here a long time too. But <clears throat> those of you that weren't born here, isn't it true that you come and you just fall in love and, and it's like hard to leave and come? So there's a lot of people moving here, and some people, you know, for, for job reloads and, and so on. But uh, what you're going to find is that many people are not yet ready. So um, off into a little bit of a tangent, I just really loved learning about emotional IQ. It explained to me so many things in my own life. And the number one trait of someone with a high emotional IQ is the ability to delay gratification. You have to delay gratification because that guy's six months out, right? We have to delay gratification and eat. You can't look at what's happened today or this week, this month, even this quarter in your business. Maybe look at the overall year view because you're gonna be building your connections and it takes a while. But if you're consistent, I promise you, 10 to 12 months in, Being able to delay <coughs> gratification is super, super important because what happens is after a couple of years, when you keep doing your job, at least two or three of those transactions are going to come to you from when they were here two years ago and you met at an open house. And you put them immediately on a smart plan and followed up with them every two and three days for a while, and etc. 
Uh, the last thing here they're saying is that 8% bought for the desire to be in a better area or a change in family situation. And so that, of course, is, uh, that happens too. You know, people that uh, want to move to, want to move up country so their kids can go to sea barrier or maybe are just tired of the commute and they need to, you know, leave the west side because they're working at the okay. So, making it happen, working with buyers, this is the, oh, see, this is, in here but it's not in the same order so I have a page 13 says make it happen working with buyers and you too yeah let's see this is off so it's fine it's okay. are you, hey Kevin how are you good yeah, how are you doing manager he manages the places Hi, everybody. Uh, good to refer him management jobs okay so make it happen working with buyers Three steps we're going to focus on, finding the right home, showing qualified homes, and very, very important, bringing your buyers to a decision. They have so, so much going on. It's kind of fun for me. Oftentimes you know that you've found the right house before they do. You can tell the way they're behaving, and couples, you know, sort of, you know. Um, but then they're, they're stopped because of, then their brain goes, oh, but wait a minute, what if I don't know about this, or what if I do this wrong? So they're busy trying to sort through all this stuff and you're going, oh yeah. Give them time, hold their hand, right? It works, works out. So 92% of buyers use the internet in their home search. Uh, it gives you a, a couple of things that you can do to uh, make this good. I get tons of these every day because I use this uh, in my systems. Number one, setting them up on a bin, buyer instant notification. So you, you don't want to, as you know, computers, you don't want to get too detailed, right? Uh, keep it kind of general. I always tell people when I first meet them, and especially when they're not quite ready or think they're not ready, that, hey, you know, no problem. We're not wasting any time because I want to, you know, show you what I can do for you. I want to create a relationship with you because I'd like to do business with you. And so <clears throat> when... Um, Oh yeah, just keep it. Uh, make sure that they understand that the very first thing you can do to serve them, wherever they are in the process, is to get um, uh, market knowledge. And I tell people there is no science here, but if you see this, that, and the other, you know, take advantage of the app. Even if you see a property that you know is too much money for you or too not nice enough for you or whatever, even if it doesn't match your goals, if you can, go see them. The more properties you see, the more you understand how the market works, the more confident, Patrick, you're gonna be when you do really find the right one. And it's gonna be easy, but you're gonna know because you've had these experiences. So really encourage them always to see as much of the market as they can. Mm -hmm. So monitoring what our buyers receive from our website and app through back office tools. Like I said, I got a notice. Bettina Ackerman is cruising on your the word they use is browsing your um, your app. I don't know where they put that. Um, <clears throat> also, um, let's see, the back office tools. It, it is going to give you the information so you know what they're up to. And again, that's very important because it, what I'm learning, because these are all new technologies, so I'm learning all this stuff too, but what I see happening <coughs> is that I, I don't think I'm going to go there. I don't want to complicate things. I have a tendency to go on tangents, but I want you to focus on certain things here. Yeah. So if you see that they're playing around, you know, they don't necessarily know that you see them playing around. So it's a really good time to give them a buzz or a text. Hey, I was just thinking of you. See anything fun out there or anything I can do for you? So if we go to 
go then to page 14. I have one of these touch screens and I'm always trying to touch the things that can't be touch screen. page 14 on our page, which is the page before this one. Um, yeah, knowing the market can save so much time and frustration, so that's that's real important, of course, and you're going to be seeing your 10 homes on your own every week. You're going to start to notice when you go that it really makes a difference, and later on you'll be talking to someone in the office and you can say, hey, I saw da 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 So again, just, just keep seeing properties and things come from it. It's a great thing. Um, when working with buyers, uh, set the expectation that whenever the buyers see a home online they really like, that if at all possible they do a drive-by. Okay, um, that's a, another way for them to gain market knowledge and to maybe rule something out. But having said that, I personally, hmm, I don't know, I <laughs> I sometimes do things differently. <laughs> um, I've I just many times I have had a tour then with my buyers and we drive up to something oh, I'm sorry, I turned it off. we drive up to something and we look up and then we look at each other and go oh my gosh <laughs> really because as you've probably noticed there can be some people that have are great photographers and it looks great and you go there and ick somebody didn't do, take good pictures you go there and it's great Right? So what I do, this is just what I do every time. If I'm in the car in front of the house and they go, oh, gross, we don't have to go in there. I go, hey, gosh, I'm sorry. Will you humor me? It's been my experience, but it's still valuable. Let's go inside. We're going to have greater market knowledge. We're here. I made an appointment. It's going to be nice to us to show up. And over the years, probably half a dozen people have bought those homes. Because homes are bought on emotion. I don't care. They say they have to have this, that, and the other. Good day. Hi. Oh, oh, sorry, I'm late. Hi. No, no problem. Wherever you like. Uh, oh, yeah. Right in the bunny front, I guess. There you go. Sorry about that. Hey, don't be sorry. Oh, good. We live busy lives. Yes. Oh, how's that? Fine. Good. I'm doing great. That's good. Yeah. I'm glad. Just teaching you. Are you singing anywhere right now? Yeah. It's, uh, Thursday night, I'm doing Mahler. Uh, pro arts. Oh, fun. Yeah, Have you guys ever heard him sing? No, no, no I have. I know, I I've know. Heard ten words. He's, he's, he's maybe the best I singer on the island. It's amazing. <laughs> I love it. He can say four words of the prayer for me. Oh, yeah. I love it. I love it. <laughs> anyway, uh, so we yeah, have something Thursday night at uh, Pro Arts. Pro Arts. Well, that's good to know. What's our WC for coffee oven? What's our, uh, excuse me, and Mahler? Awesome. Anyway. So does that kind of make sense to you, though? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping to plant a little seed, right? And and if remember, you're the professional. If you're sitting in front of that house, and they're going, oh, you know, um, you want to control things, and you're going to feel bad if an agent's meeting you. Mm -hmm. and you know, so just you know, I always say, why don't they have riots at Disneyland, making people wait in line for so darn long? Do you know why? It's what we need to do too. They posture up. They posture up. This is how we do it here. That's the mindset that you want. Now, you have to believe you're really doing good by these people. Otherwise, this isn't right. But I, I, you know, your mindset. I used to sit before going into do a listing presentation in my car, and I had a whole little ritual that I would go through. And I, we weren't just shaking hands when they signed the listing. We were hugging. And they were telling me, oh, Judy, thank you. I'm so relieved. This has been so nerve-wracking, and I'm so confused. And then, hail the conquering hero, right? <laughs> this is how we do it here. Posture up. Because you know you're doing right by them, right? You make mistakes. We all make mistakes. I don't care how long you've been in the business. You fix them. We're fixers. That's what we do. That's really what our job is. So. So qualifying homes that are found online, 
check the MLS to make sure the home is still available. Compare the features of the home with your buyer's wish list and your the five must-have sheet if you use that. And again, just a little side note here. Obviously, if they have four kids, they need more than one or two bedrooms. There's a few things that aren't negotiable. <laughs> but everything they think they had, if they walk into the home that makes them feel good, it's going to go out the window. That's how that works. So, you know, kind of keep it to a low roar. I, I let people know that, look, I know you've told me da 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 this, but I found this one listing that has four of the five, and it just looks so great. You know, we might have to just chalk it up to market knowledge if it's not the right one, but let's go see it. That kind of stuff. I, it is, uh, I think it's important that you do that. So. so you're looking at the homes on the MLS. Is it really a good fit, or are the buyers letting an emotional factor cloud their better judgment? If it doesn't seem like a good match to you, take advantage of the opportunity to fine-tune their wants and needs. Sometimes you go back to the drawing table a couple times. Simply asking two or three questions can save you an hour of time viewing a home that doesn't meet their criteria. So you told me that a uh, living room big enough to put your baby grand was one of your five must-haves. Two of the homes you sent to me don't have that feature. Is this something you're willing to give up? Because right. remember, they're going through the process too. <laughs> Leverage the trip by checking to see if there are other comparable homes your buyer might want to see at the same time. Okay, I think I've caught up to what this is talking about now. So, we're going to, does everybody have their, well, not everybody has a laptop. Who does? Who doesn't? Oh, you do, I'm sorry. Ding dong. Okay, so pull your laptops out. You guys, are you guys all at the point where you can get online to the multiple? Excellent. On commander? No, multiple. So, oh, sure, sure. Yeah. Clarity. I have friends coming into town tomorrow. Maybe we'll go up see you Thursday night. Oh, great. I know. How much does it cost? 40 bucks. at least two of you, so that, um, I'll just move over. Choose a partner to work with. One will be the agent, the other will be the buyer. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm 
That's a reference to a TV show. I love it. 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 I do do it. Anyway, so I, um, you went to the Capital Yeah. Okay. Uh, I used to go to the condo or residence. Okay. Just briefly, I want to say one thing. I always tell people, and write your goals this way too, what would you want if you knew you couldn't fail? It's a great way to write personal goals. I'm telling you, it's just, I know. So at the top of the page, what would I do if I knew I couldn't fail? I'm writing goals because. We tend to write goals based on our current circumstances, and we're not thinking big enough. So when you look through that lens, what would I do if I knew I couldn't fail? Well, I do this, that, and the other. If you do that in the context of working with buyers, I tell them, I ask them that, and I mean it, and I want them to tell me because it tells me who they are. See, it's not the feature, it's the benefit that comes from the feature. So it helps me to understand, and of course, asking three layers deep is, is a good thing too. And then I like to kind of say, hey guys, we'll only get realistic if we're forced into it. <laughs> so what would you do if you knew you couldn't fail? What else would you do? When that comes on, I'll have to go. Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> you want to help out? <laughs> Okay, so I'm looking okay. for a simple uh, two bedrooms. Two bedrooms is an Ohana option, like option too. Uh, if there was an Ohana, that would be awesome. Okay. Uh, we for like a detached Ohana with that original problem to be able to ideal, but it's not fly very low. There's all the examples. Yeah. So, by the way, is it going to be some more? Okay. Uh, we'll get in touch with the lender. Uh, so, uh, 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 so I would say that we have the that up to six to nine people. Because I got six kids. I was like, oh, 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 no, 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 no. That was not considered yet. That was considered average. Big was 12. The average was 6. So, I don't know if you're going to have any glare with you. Yes, you're going to have to find that she uh, I have two awesome. currently with me, three or four girls. I, I, I would love to get her yeah. phone number. Girl, girl, any girls? I have a lender that I have a relationship with. He has that number. For you, as an old man. No, no, no. Oh, so do it for your Are you the seller? Yeah. Honestly, it's been like weeks in between, so I'm sure I'm not his first priority. You know, we'll have time to talk. We're definitely absolutely. And that's what I'm saying. Okay, so resume. Okay, so resume. Yeah, that's what I think. I appreciate it. You said your high point is 800,000. What? FYM. So, I'm going to be able to do that. Yeah, I'm going to be able to do that. Yeah, I'm going to be able to do that. Yeah, I'm going to be able to do that. Yeah, I'm going to be able to do that. Yeah, I'm going to be able to do that. Yeah, I'm going to be able to do that. Yeah, I'm going to be able to do that. Yeah, I'm going to be able to do that. Yeah, I'm going to be able to do that. Yeah, is there yeah. some subdivision or anything you're looking at? There's a few stuck uh, There's some. in some. that 20 years. Okay. Yeah. There's some dates that are dated. So yeah. You said minimum yeah. two yeah. chests? Yeah. Two chests. Two chests. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You're not meeting with them first. Six of them. Oh, sure. Four. 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 No, I'm, uh, I'm writing you down a sheet. Uh, okay. This is the yeah. specification. Are you putting them all over? This is the specification. I do, and I don't do it. Take them all over. These are all key here. And I bring them all over. In case this will take this whole body for each of you. Honestly, every single time, it's a struggle. It's like hacking in the jungle. And what I've found here than anything is to save every single search. Because I find myself status, especially it's on the market. Exactly. If one person or one couple or somebody like that, one family wants it, chances are there's going to be some other people that want it too. So that, is, that way I don't have to hack through the jungle. And exactly. So, so active. You know what that is? Yeah. Okay. In other words, it's active lease for sale. Um, what's, what's on for sale? Yeah, like a shared district. Let's All right. On here. So, so what are your five? Yeah, do you have five? Do you have any plus half? Or over here, I can do a general area. Right? Like, okay. Like, okay. Like, okay. They don't have well, West Mount, 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 Mount
Yeah. Coming up in the world. Yeah. Now it comes up. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's going to see point. really six good. Bedroom, six bedroom, a lot of people, when they do open houses the there, they were so concerned about all the HOA inside the house. Yeah, totally. I felt like I was the only one. And the people would say, the price is going to warn a We can do that, but then like when we broke down the land, they would be like, well, this is a lot more than I thought it would be each month with the HOA tells you about the taxes and stuff. What's that? It's out of the way. Yeah, it's out so, 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 like HOVs or HOAs or whatever. Like, uh, uh, like, oh, it's so I love it. Oh, it's I love it. Like, it's like, uh, uh, I just think it keeps it fun. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
there's some on that side. So I don't know what's the price. I just like that. You know, you call me. Yeah, that's right. 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 We're going to do do, we're gonna choose one that you're going to pull up so or look at so you can see the form as we go through here. We're going to move on in a minute. So I get everything in here on time. So we'll do this property, I guess. Okay. Anyone's fine. We're going to walk through here on CSP. You know, it's in forms. I want to offer like 100 out there. So if this is something you tell the buyer, you'd say. So you guys have that, um, <clears throat> either I imagine you're in either condos or residential, and so click on the age of you if you're not there already, so that you can get you know, information as we walk through this. Each of those things and options. Yeah, that would be that would be fine. So by showing the buyers the best homes first, sometimes you can reduce the touring time because <laughs> once they've seen a home that they really like, you might not be right, but oftentimes one really jumps out and go, you know. And if you've had time to preview, then you know even more. Uh, for your confidence as a new agent. I recommend you build in some preview times. You, even if you don't have time to go into the home, drive it. Because you're going to go, oh, now I turn around, you did it, turn around, and you go, oh man, I'm glad my clients aren't with me. Mm -hmm. Right? So that's kind of important in the beginning because your confidence is, you, you can make up in confidence what you feel you don't have in, in um, experience. You know, as long as you're willing to do the right thing, you know, when you need it, it all works out well. So, uh, Preparing to show homes on page 16. The first thing I mentioned, looking at the showing instructions.